Hello brothers and sisters, it's me again Peter and today is Friday and uh, I know it's been a long time since I've been here on YouTube and I've been well, all glory to God and I hope each and every one of you is doing well too as well. Today I just wanted to share a message of encouragement and also a message of warning at the same time and uh, yesterday when I was driving the Holy Spirit ministered to me in my spirit and I remember the scripture in the Old Testament when God commanded Moses to build a snake uh, to lift it up because the children of Israel were being beaten by serpents in the desert. So if you are beaten by the serpent, uh, you had poison going through you and you are in, da in danger of imminent, imminent death, right? So God commanded Moses to lift up this snake and that it came to pass that whoever looked upon that snake will live. By faith, if you looked up upon that snake, you will live, right? Because you followed the creator instruction. But even during that time, God wasn't going to force you to look at the serpent. You're the one who knew you got beaten by the serpent. And you know you had poison going through you. So it's your responsibility, your own free will, to choose to look upon that serpent that God has instructed for you to look so that you may live. Right? So I started thinking, serpent, what's the coalition between this? Like, Think about it. In the beginning, God, you, um, uh, Satan used came and deceived Eve in the form of a serpent. And then I started thinking about us right now, at, at the time we are living right now, right? The time of grace. All of us have a poison going through us. All of us. And that poison is sin, right? And we both know that the wages of sin is death, right? Sin will lead to death. The wages of sin is death. And that's a poison right there. But... I also remember that this scripture that Jesus was uh, preaching to this priest and he told me, told him that just as Moses lifted up the snake in the desert, the same way the son of man must be lifted up so that everyone who believes in him may live through him, through him. All right. Right now the creator has given us instruction to look upon him, upon Christ on that cross and believe in him and trust him so that we may live through him so that we may not die in our sins. Is the same thing it's a free gift and that's grace right but right now he's not gonna force you to look upon Christ he's not gonna cause you to 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 like to 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 believe in him he you it's your responsibility your own free will to realize that you have you 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 you, you are you are you are sick and that sickness is sin and Jesus is a cure for that sickness and you have to look upon him and gaze upon him and have faith in him that you may live through him right you have to look upon christ and believe in him and trust in him and his finished work you see because the wages of sin is death right now there is no excuses you know long ago god overlooked the ignorance of men but right now he requires all people to repent because the time of judgment is drawing near and God is going to, to judge this world through Christ. He's going to judge this world. And you're going to be asked what you did with the Son of God. So, today is the day. The day of, for you to repent and look upon Christ and realize that you are a sinner. You have sinned against a holy God. And you know that the wages of sin is death and you deserve death. And you have to look upon Christ and believe in him so that you may live Choose life, not death, God says. Choose life. Right? You have to choose life and not death because Christ is the author of life. As he says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. He's the author of life. You choose Christ, you have to choose. You, you choose life, you have to choose Christ because he's the author of life. But if you think about the message uh, of the gospel the gospel like you know the message of the gospel like it's foolishness when you start thinking about the creation I mean the creator dying for his creation it's, it's foolishness to a lot of people but God did come through Christ and he died for us people want to do something to feel worthy to enter heaven but the fact remains that through God's standards no one can enter heaven by his own good deeds or whatever because God says for all have sinned all have fallen short of the glory of God. We, have, we all fall short. We all fall short. We cannot enter heaven 
without Christ. Christ is the only way to the Father. And we have to believe in Him and we have to trust in Him. God has given us instruction just as He did to the children of Israel back in the desert. God has given us instruction. We have to follow those instructions if we want to live. The same way that God gave instruction to Noah to build the ark. God, Noah did not question God. Why are you telling me to build the ark? There is no rain. There is nothing. I mean, why are you telling me to build the ark? He did not question God. To the people of Noah, Noah was a crazy man. What is he doing? He's wasting his time, his years, right? But without question, Noah did what? Obeyed God and followed God's instruction. And by doing that, he lived. He was saved, him and his family. The same way right now we have to obey God's command, God's instruction. And his instruction is believe in his son Jesus Christ whom he has sent and you may live through him so that you may not die in your sins trust in him trust in his finished work so that you may not die in your sins the time is now today is the day of salvation not tomorrow I love you all that's the word of encouragement I wanted to encourage each and every one of you and also a warning at the same time let us be wise like the five virgin. As we say, the day drawing no and the days are getting short. And we know that our king is coming back. Let us all be prepared because we have to be ready because the bridegroom is coming. So let, let us all be united with the Lord in spirit and in truth and remain united in him always. All my brothers and sisters. Okay? I love you all. Peace.